So that one is really good if like he catches me off guard and he actually beats me. He already, he already actually rolls me and you're like, oh crap, you know, and then I can just kind of grab that and go. If I'm ahead of the game, I might just spin around, right? So if I get in and he, I drive him down and he, he rolls right here, I can always release everything and just kind of spin around on him. But now I have to get heavy on his head because he's still got my leg here. If I'm getting back, he can find a way to get up on it. So I'm, I'm gonna stay heavy and basically get my hand underneath and almost, not necessarily a cross face, I just wanna get under his chin so that he's getting extended, and now I can beat that. So I'm gonna release the legs, and I'm gonna do a full 360, basically. I'm in, boom, I feel him roll, I'm coming right back, but now, now I, again, I, if I relax here for a second, he's gonna build up and he's still got my legs. So heavy hips, hand goes under the chin, and now I'm, I'm beating it. All right, so I just gotta be ready to go. So one more time. I drive down, as soon as I, I feel him right here, I, I know exactly what he's doing, he's got my leg, so I'm just gonna release everything and float, 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 float. Now I gotta get under the chin and be heavy. So it's still gonna be a fight from right here. The biggest thing we have to do is extend his head so that he's not strong and tight. He's now tighten him up and now, it's, now we're gonna have to figure out where the next scenario is. Okay, so just spin with it, heavy hips, Watch this job. Go. 